What's up, my friend? Happy Friday to you. It's a beautiful Friday, right? I was thinking, right? See, I don't care how competitive you are, right? There's still got to be some things. Like, you got to be disciplined enough, even if you're super competitive. You still got to be disciplined enough not to want to win some things, right? Like there are some things that you still shouldn't want to win, even if you're super competitive. For instance, you shouldn't want to win that road rage battle with that angry driver because situations like that have the potential to put you in a worse situation than you're already in. So those kind of battles you don't want to win because it's senseless, right? But certain things you can't let win. And fear, fear is one of them, right? See, you gotta stop letting fear win. You gotta win all the battles with fear. And here's how, right? See, you gotta stop allowing fear to paralyze you, right? Just like a deer stuck in the headlights, right? The whole time that deer is stuck in those headlights, the deer never ever realizes that in order to avoid getting hit by this car, by this speeding vehicle, all I have to do is simply move. See, fear wants to make you inactive. It wants to stop your movement. Because if you're not moving, you can't be making nothing happen, right? See, fear is like a shadow, right? The closer you get to the shadow, the bigger your shadow appears to be, right? But check this out. If you stop looking at the shadow, you won't even know that the shadow exists. It's not like the shadow is gonna tap you on the back and say, look at me, or gonna grab you and say, I'm here. Same principle with fear, right? And here's three strategies that can help you overcome fear, right? Number one, fear is nothing more than self-created images that are not real. They're self-created and they're not real, right? And number two, see, fear's job. See, fear paralyzes you, right? But the problem with being paralyzed, the biggest issue is you can't think correctly. See, when you're afraid, you can't think and process appropriately. That's the biggest issue, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset, right? A mind bold enough to believe that the higher presence of fear exists, the lower presence of faith exists, my friend. See, the presence of fear is the absence of faith. And here's the thing, in order to become more faithful, you need confidence, right? Where does confidence come from? Three places, belief in God, and you are God on the earth realm, but you just get access to the ultimate God, right? Belief in yourself and belief in your preparation, my friend. Not being afraid is all up to you. You gotta do the steps though, you gotta do the work. And why you doing that work, my friend? Never, ever, ever forget that you were born to be great.